Gents and gems, welcome back to the Middlesbrough career mode on EAFC 25. So going into this one then, quick sim. Uh, I've had to have a little bit of a rotation. Uh, I've had to rotate, just move out of the way a second. I've had to rotate the two centre-backs of Clark and Vandenberg. The energy was just really low. So we've stuck them two in, full of energy. Obviously West Brom sitting seventh, so let's see how we get on here. Bit of luck. Oh, we get the win. 2-1. Uh, goals from Conway and Latte Lath. Latte Lath is just banging them in for fun at the moment. And Conway in the 83rd minute to seal the deal. That's a good. That was a good shout for taking that one as the sim. Uh, a good idea to rest those couple of players. So moving on. Match day again. Another sim. Looking at that, I mean, everyone... Is fit and ready to go, except Latte Lath. So I'm going to have to do a team management here. And we're going to have to sub out. I mean, Force played well when I brought him on in the Carabao Cup. But with Conway getting our late winner, I'm going to give Conway the start up top. See what the difference is. And <clears throat> I'm going to swap Dog for Jones. It is, oh, it's a 4-1 win away from home with goals from Luke Ayling, Aidan Morris, Riley McGree and Finn Azaz. Absolute sublime. Oh, we are on fire. That puts us second in the table. Second going into Bristol, who is 18th. Uh, I think this is our final sim. And Riley McGree, who doesn't look like Riley McGree, gets player of the match. Excellent stuff. Going into this one then, full strength, full of energy. Let's just get straight on with the sim. Oh, and we suffer a 2-0 defeat to Bristol. They were, I think, 17th, I think it said. Which isn't unlike... Borough, you know, top bottom of the table will struggle. Uh, a goal from Bell in the fifth minute is all that happened in the first half, and Wells in the 78th secured it for Bristol. Never mind then. Two new unread messages. Is he? I do expect more from him because I'm not convinced of him, to be quite honest. You need more game times. Well, technically, you're still in the squad. But technically, in real life, you're out injured. So that's why you are not being brought in as much. But I can't exactly, he won't understand that, will he? This is the team I'm going for, for Sheffield United. I made a couple of substitute, a couple of uh, alterations, sorry. Dale Fry did want to be in. Now, his sharpness is at zero. Vandenberg is a, it's not great. It's only 29, but he's got a little bit more pace. He's younger. I just I want to kick on and develop Van Denberg. Uh, I've also brought in Dork again for Jones, and I've put Bergzog in for Finazaz. Just simply just to see because of the type of player Bergzog is in real life. I don't quite know if it translates into FIFA. Uh, sorry, mistake. <laughs> Whoops, FC twenty five. But he's he's quite strong, good at holding up the ball. So I thought that. Play it into Bergzog, a bit like Chubarakpom did. Hold up the ball, play it out wide to McGree or Dork, or even play in Latte Laugh. So we'll see how that works uh, going into this one. So here we go then. Latte Laugh gets us off underway. Been a couple of days since I played, so we'll just get a feel for the ball. Ben Doak. Oh, Ben Doak's got acres of space down this right-hand side. Don't kick that out of play like Jones usually does. Latte Lath wants it sent in. It's sent a bit behind him. Nothing to come. Oh, but McGree's recovered it. Latte Lath. Oh, he's fumbled and lost. Fuck. He finds so much space out here. Has he got the pace to keep going? Has he got the pace? Latte Lath. It's delivered in. Oh, but it's too close to the keep. Not a lot to aim for, so he's going to have to hold play. Latte Lath wanted to make the run. It's played, but oh, has it has it felt to Latte Lath? Has it felt to Latte Lath? Oh, he hits the upright. Can he keep it in? Can he keep it in? Oh, it just goes out. My God, man. So 
Something happening for Sheffield United, maybe here with Campbell. He's on the right flank. He's wiggled. He's wiggled past Clark. He's into the spot. He takes a shot. It's very soft and Dieng, easy save, but should have really used his hands, but he puts it out for a corner anyway. What are Sheffield United going to do with this corner then? It's taken short. And Dort covers, plays it out to McGree, and McGree is on his own. He's got a bit of pace. He's got enough pace. What is he doing? He's in behind. He's all on his own. It's Riley McGree. It's Riley McGree. He's got all the way to the post. Rebound. Oh, and he's fluffed it towards the corner flag. Come on, man. Oh, Dork loses it. That's not a good place to lose it. He strikes or hit, but strikes it wide. Oh, it's in for Sheffield United with Campbell. He shoots. Oh, my God. How many times do we have to concede a goal from a rebound? Just before half time. Fucking hell. Chris Wilder's sucker fart. Absolute bullshit. That'll do it for the end of the first half then. Here we go then, second half. After that woeful goal to concede, can we bring it back? They're going for someone straight off the fucking kickoff here at Sheffield United. They're in with Norrington Davies. He's into the box. Vandenberg again. Something going here for Sheffield United with Raksaki. I think that's how you say it. He's into the box. Clark. It's a pass back. Oh, my God. Why did no one stick a foot in again? It's typical Middlesbrough down this left side. Right. Let's get... Let's, we've got to get back into this. Come on now. Morris pushing forward. Absolute pushing forward on his own. But now he's a bit isolated out there. Still got it as Morris. There's a pass on to Bergzog who takes a touch. Bergzog. Oh, he puts it wide. A couple of substitutions then. We have brought Latte Lath off for Tommy Conway because he was just knackered. Uh, we have brought Finna Zaz on for Bergzog and we have brought Hamilton on for Riley McGree. Oh, there was a through ball there for Finna Zaz, but I sent it the complete and utter wrong way. Ben Dork with the interception. There's a pass out to Azaz. Azaz has got a good right foot. That's in towards Conway. Who got... Oh, no. That's... No. Oh, man alive. He's offside. Let's help recover that ball nicely. Now, can we get something going? There's a ball over the top maybe for Tommy Conway. Can he get him behind? He has got him behind. He has got him behind. Tommy Conway... Tommy Conway reduces the deficit with 20 minutes to go. Come on, Borough. Back underway then. Come on. 20 minutes. A goal to secure a point. Two to win. Come on. Not like this though, Borough. Norwich Davis is attacking down their left side. He's coming towards the box. Is he going to cross? Is he going to cross? No, he passes it in sealed. Hackney with a good defending block. Recovers the ball. There's a good pass on there. Oh no, that, I didn't want it that far. I wanted it to Izzy. Finn is as now. There's a ball over the top. That's too late for Tommy Conway. Fuck! I did have one substitution left and I've made it. I've had to bring off Van Dunberg, even though he's had a blinder of a game for George Edmondson because he again is just knackered. So come on then. 12 minutes to go. Fresh legs. <clears throat> Tommy Con Tommy Conway has slipped his defender. Come on, Tommy. Come on, Tommy. Tommy Conway, you fucking legend. Get on. <clears throat> Absolute sublime, Tommy Conway. Conway 
Can he go for a hat trick? Ten minutes to go. Tommy Conway for a hat trick to secure three points. Come on! This has got to be the final kick then. Do not let it go in. Do not let it go in! Absolutely fucking shambolic. <sighs> that secures it for Sheffield United. It's fucking key for a bastard. Going into this one then, it's a big, big game. It's fourth versus sixth. There's only, I think, a couple of points that separate us. And I've had to rotate the team quite a bit. Conway sent me a message saying what, what he's been playing well. I was going to put him in after the way he came off the bench in the last game against Sheffield United. I had to put him up top. Clark and Vandenberg were just done. So in comes Lenehan and Edmondson. Uh, Daw keeps his place out wide for now. Hamilton's made it a, making a start. Uh, I've put Azaz back in for Bergzog. Uh, and the rest is... As normal, Dieng obviously keeps his spot. Borges keeps his spot. Ayling keeps his spot. Hackney and Morris, even though they're a little bit energy deficient, we should hopefully get the job done. Subs included. Let's pray we get three points from this one over at Carroll Road. Let's go. Here we go then, where to get this one underway. Tommy Conway is to do the kick in. Could something be happening here? Could something be happening here with Finner's ass? Finner's ass puts us in front, man! Come on! Absolutely, I just did not see anything developing. It was in the middle. Didn't see anything coming. And then all of a sudden, there was a ball through. Finner's ass picks up a bit of a fumble and he's in. He strikes it and that puts us 1-0 up. Come on! It just doesn't quite have the pace as Latte, Latte, or Izzy, or even Conway. Oh, my God, we've let Knack through. But again, it's with the fucking parries, man, all the time. Come on. Tommy Conway's making a run straight from kickoff. It's played over by Finazaz. It's cleared. Only as far as Finazaz, who takes a strap in his fucking piss week. Aidan Morris then, he's making a run. Little through ball for Tommy Conway. He cuts it back. He takes the strike. Oh, Tommy Conway just puts it wide, man. How close was that? Oh, just oh, a few more inches the other side of the post and we'd have been... We'd have been saucy. Short one taken by the keeper. That could be risky. Uh, but I think they've managed to deal with that one. I think it's going to be the end of the first half there. Trying a little ball over the top, but we've read that one. And that is the end of the first half. Here we go then, second half. Sergeant to get us underway. Finn is as now. Pushing forward. Passes it in towards Tommy Conway. Dispossessed. Watch the through ball. Watch the, oh, it's over the top. It's played back towards Krenak. I think it's Krenak. Oh my god. Forster strikes. Dieng with a good save. That's a better parry. Nice and out. Dork recovers the in uh, intercepts nicely. Hackney then to get us going forward. Loses possession. Too deep in our own half. Come on, let's launch a counter. Yes. Come on. Oh, my God. Conway all on his own. Right, I have made all five substitutions. I've gone all five. I've brought Jones on for Dork. I've brought Dyke Steele on for Ayling. I have brought McGree on for Hamilton. 
I have brought, I think it was it Force on for. Jones with the pace. Jones with the pace. Jones with the pace. Force is in. Oh my god, that's how you get back in front. That's how you counter attack. Get in there. Oh. I think I brought a Zaz on. No, I brought a Zaz off. I can't remember all my substitutions. I was debating going all the way with Jones, but I want three points. I want three points. Um, I think that might have been the five. No, no, no. Dieng, now you catch it. That's what I'm talking about. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. It's all right, you deflected off them. It's fine. Come on, Barlaza. Don't piss about. Good ball out to Izzy. Don't lose it, Izzy. There's a ball up for Force. He's turned his man. Force is in again. Oh! That would have surely sealed all three points. I've always been taught attack is the best form of defence, but I am worried about leaving gaps. I am a little bit. Things like this, counter-attacks. There will be pushing. There's only a couple of minutes, and after the shit that we've uh, faced with Sheffield United... Clear the fucker. Clear the bastard. Just boot it. Boot it, Hackney. That's it. That'll do it. That's three points. Get in. And that sees out the month of October as well. Woo, woo. Where does that leave us? That leaves us in third. Oh my God, with the next game against Coventry who's in fourth. Let's have a look at these standings. Coventry, we are level on points with Coventry. Uh, exactly the same goal difference. Oh no, we're two goals to the better on goal difference. That is a big game. We're two points behind Leeds and we're only uh, five points behind Luton. So we're, we're gaining points. We're gaining. We're sat in third. What have we got coming up in the month of November? Let's have a look. So here is November. We've got obviously Coventry first game on the second. QPR, we've got Luton. Oh, two big games and luckily they're both at home then again we played Chef United at home and got beaten in the last fucking kick of the game and we just played Norwich away uh, nah at home it's good uh, we've all got Oxford Blackburn and Hull I think the two games we've got to play is going to have to be Coventry and Luton they're two big big games and then, obviously, we'll be into December. We don't face Burnley and Leeds until we get to December, which are obviously um, fourth and second. So we've got there's time to move. move uh, there's time for teams to move up and down in those five fixtures, six fixtures. Sorry, there. So anyway, gents and gems, we will leave it there until the next one. I will say stay safe, take it easy, and goodbye.